Okay, welcome to No Man's Sky, and I thought I would show you my now updated freighter base after the endurance update completely buggered it up. I had to, uh, most of it, I had to basically build from scratch. Um, you might have seen my previous uh, videos with my epic freighter base. It was quite old, but it was wonderful. Um, but yes, I've now, with all these new parts from the endurance update, I've now made it even better. I just had to, like I say, rebuild one part at a time to make it all work, mostly because most of the rooms had turned the wrong way round, basically, so they weren't connecting properly. Um, but there were a few other pretty difficult to solve issues, and there's a few tiny bits I haven't actually solved yet. I know there's teleporters there, but I'm going to go the correct way. So, in, ca in case you didn't know, this bit makes absolutely no sense. It basically teleports you. Um, but if you see this, where I'm currently stood, from the outside of the freighter, it does not connect to the bridge at all. Uh, to the, um, not bridge, sorry, the, um, the hangar. I'm very tired. But yeah, I'll show you that in a minute when I'm outside. Okay, so we have our bridge, of course. Now, oh, antimatter reactor, yeah, yeah, whatever. Save point. Okay, so our downstairs corridor is more or less as it was but with some new rooms so uh, on that side I've still got like all my storage containers I've had to move the stairs up um, which I'll show you in a minute but yes if we go from this side this will be the new uh, rocket locker whatever you want to call it they keep changing the name of it um, but where you're on planet you fill um, the rocket lo locker up with stuff and you click send and it, it you literally see it fly up into space towards your freighter this will be where you can collect those resources from I guess um, we've got a little bit out to get out in case I uh, mess up so now this is what I was talking about here you'll notice it's a dead end that absolutely does not connect to our um, thing right below us look this is it below us that's our hangar nope didn't like that one bit, did it? Uh, what's it doing? Nobody asked you to go up there. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Lost my way in, where's it gone? There. I stole all of that just to show you that that doesn't actually connect. Anyway, rocket locker. Um, then we've got our orbital exocraft materializer. We've got our uh, appearance modifier. And we've got our teleporter. On the other side, we've got our planetary probe. That discovers everything in the system. We've got our galactic trade terminal. We've got our nutrient processor, and we've got our large refiner, and another way out. This first part of the video, or the, the um, bottom floor, it's all stuff that you'd expect from this update, and that you've probably seen other people talk about. Um, it's the other floors that get interesting, but we'll get to them in a minute. Um, I've had to move the stairs, they were here, so I literally had to swap container 4 with the stairs, and then same on the other side, container 5 with the stairs. Um, purely because these new stairs don't quite match up with the old ones. Um, they go further, you can see they go further along, it's taking up two different uh, sets of rooms rather than just one. So yeah, I had to adjust things a little bit because it couldn't come out here without messing up my medical room, which I'll now show you. So we've got a little waiting room, just as we did before. Um, I'll put an NPC there on I get the ability to. And we've got our little medical room, so we've got lots of different beds, chairs, computers, little storage area. And we've got our operating table which looks terrifying. Don't 
tiny little waiting area here. Of course, you could just replenish your health while you're here. <laughs> <coughs> okay, on both sides here and over there, we have ourselves a little uh, weapons area surrounded by a bunch of glitches and we've got a way out the front got to turn that jetpack mod off um, and yeah you can see we're above the medical area here and the bridge is right there it goes around to the side but we'll show you the side in a minute um, again it's the same on both sides just mirrored if I go here we've got stairs up to our farming level which again I'll show you in a minute and we've got our stairs down to the end of the corridor got out to the sides we've got further stairs up to the farming area That used to be where the stairs up were, but I can't do it there now because the stairs are different. Okay, there's a little light box there to indicate that this bit's broken, that I can't seem to get the door where it needs to go, so I need to go into Blender to fix it. But all the rest of it is working fine. You've got the old bedrooms that I had in my old build with the little viewing platform out. Um, they're all all the bedrooms are the same just with different colors different color schemes but you'll see there's a whole bunch of them let's pick up a random one we've got a blue blue room a pink pinky purple room yeah so they're all basically the same and we've got nice little way out to the side again okay and you can see the outsides there I feel like I need to turn my uh, torch on to see better okay and again we can go up to the farming level but I don't recall if I'm finished showing you stuff here yet let's see So, on the ground level still. No, we're not on the ground level. I've skipped the ground floor altogether, haven't I? Pants. What did I do that for? Let's let's go out the back. Yeah, our out the back. We've still got all our big platform, our Exocroft callers and our great big jumps on both sides so that's all still there I've redone this back bit a little bit it's a bit of a monstrosity but it gets me to every level um, but you'll see that in a minute I, I totally forgot to show you the actual new stuff down the bottom so we've got uh, on one side of the corridor let's go to the corridor first So this is our main corridor all the way down to the bridge there and we can get out the back there but I don't really recommend it it's only for if you fall uh, and you want to get back in right so on one side we've got our industry areas now this consists of a bunch of different rooms I haven't really done anything with yet they're just there ready for it um, you can see it goes all the way the rooms of two times three using the old freighter parts and then you've got a corridor all the way around the edges uh, it's these areas that um, the NPCs tend to walk around when my game isn't glitching out um, you've got my fleet control rooms here and you've got the construction guy and the scientist guy each with their own little room here 
Okay, so that's that side. If I go over to the other side, bring in mind that's the bridge just down there. Some NPCs are walking around. Uh, if I go to the other side, I've got my stellar extractors all the way down. I've got my uh, my weapons guy and my exocraft guy, and then again we've got uh, all the way around the edges. We've got these corridors that have got these three by two rooms attached to it. You'll notice this is a different type of um, corridor down here, or open open plan rooms, and they come with different types of windows to them than the other side do. Um, but yeah, this all connects back. too fast. My game is not liking how fast I'm moving. Um, yeah we've got again in case I get trapped underneath there's ways in. But yeah this this leads me right back to my bridge and my storage rooms and all that. Okay so that's that floor. I can go back up to upstairs now. Okay right We'll go down the left hand side first. So from the left hand side we have our lounge. Lots of posters, decals, which take a moment to load in there. Um, some of them have decals on the tables as well and some little gadgets just to keep things interesting. My computer's being a bit slow today because I'm, I'm getting it to do about 20 different things at once. We'll go over that side in a minute. Okay, if we come through here, so we're heading towards the back of the freighter, well we're currently right in the centre of it at the moment, but we're heading towards the back that way. Um, we've got our eatery. Um, you'll notice I've got the uh, expedition decals on these little black bits and I've left space for four more expeditions. Um, hopefully, oh, I suppose I can use these if I need to as well. Um, yeah, so we've got a lot of vending machines. Um, we've got uh, that for our cutlery. A worker can sit there. Uh, we've got the food can be put on these little plates, and you can purchase it here and pay here. Yeah, all pretty cool. That goes through to the kitchen, which again we'll show you in a minute. So here we have two cinema screens. Um, we might have some DVDs or whatever put on these shelves. Cinema screens. Lots and lots of seats and we've got the little computer in, in the back there to put a movie on. And it'll project out of there. If I turn my uh, torch off for a second you'll see it's actually quite dark. Okay, and again, it's coming out to these bedrooms, okay. Screen two. Okay, so then you end up at the back of the freighter. You remember we took our uh, way down there. Could have also gone that way to go to the industrial rooms. If we go to this side, we have a storage room that used to be far more interesting back when I had lots of stuff from Euclea mod in here. Um, but you've got some stuff that you can pick from. Um, there used to be lockers in the middle as well, so that's why there's a great big gap there because they're from the Euclea mod or one of the other mods, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, cinema's over there. Uh, if I go down here, you will see our kitchen, which I've now added some actual nutrient rooms to, rather than just um, nutrient processors. And there's a little bar here where people coming in from the disco that I'll show you in a minute can come and get drinks from. Um, I have a little visual glitch here that I can't seem to do anything about, because I can delete the room. Unfortunately, I can't rebuild the room because of this silly little plate right here that I cannot get to for the life of me to delete um, and if I delete the room before I delete that plate the plate does not disappear with it which means then when I try to replace the room 
it says I can't because there's something in the way. I can't get to that something in the way to delete it. I can't delete it from here even though I'm stood right next to it. See, it's only selecting the room and nothing I do seems to do anything about that, no matter what direction I come at it from. So this will be a blender job, basically. I need to shift the room over ever so slightly because that's what's causing this, is it's ever so slightly in the wrong place. I think it's like rotated slightly too much. In fact, I can see it. You can see it on the floor. Look, it's not quite in the right place. And then it's right here, but you can see it's out of place there. And that's what's caused that little visual glitch. It's very annoying. And it means I've got to teach myself Blender again because I don't remember how I used to use it way back in the day when I first created this. Anyway, uh, if I get back into the corridor rather than jumping over the counter. So yeah, you, you'd have gone, the, the uh, NPCs will cook stuff in there and take it through to the uh, eatery here, put it on the little hot plates. So, say you were uh, fed up of having a nice quiet lounge in the lounge and you want to dance, well you come through here where we've got resident DJs of a living organic frigate thing, a weird robot, jellyfish and a wayward cube. <laughs> they are our DJs and if I just... Uh, there's something happened to the bite beat device where it's always on now, I don't know why that's happened with this update but... I don't use my gestures very often. I forgot where they were. Is it celebrate? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. This relatively simple track gets very annoying very quickly, so... Especially as you end up hearing it just about anywhere in the freighter. I've not edited the distance on it, which I really should. And yeah, you've still got some places to sit down in here too. Again, on this side there's the same uh, problem as with the bedroom on the other side is that the door is just ever so slightly in the wrong place so it's not coming through. Yeah, I don't want to go down, I want to go up. So let's just go up this way shall we. There's plenty of different ways up to the farming level but we'll take this way. So we've got our corridor around the edges with some standing planters at the front and back no, are we at the front? I forget where we are. Are we at the front or the back? We're at the front. Um, yeah, so at the front we've got uh, little viewing platforms. And again, that's the bridge there and our medical bay. We can go back in through the middle. We've got our little agricultural guy and lots and lots of these rooms that um, I can plant in. I've done these um, expansion rooms through the middle because I hear that when you plant stuff in these they only work if they're next to a expansion room, like a biological expansion room. Um, we've got a little block here mainly because that's where the stairs are. So yep, yeah, stairs back down to our these bits again, and our corridor. So yeah, this is our front of the farming level is basically just these new rooms. Okay, then we get to where I have kept some of our bio rooms. So every second little bit has got one of the new rooms. Um, but then every second bit 
is also the biodomes. So the biodomes have got one of each of everything and a couple of extras and you can go through just harvesting all plants as you go which is quite handy really right so we basically just traveled the length of the uh, side of the freighter really quite quickly and again you've still got the little the new rooms in between them so we're now at the back, the back of our freighter, where it's getting a bit glitchy for some reason. Okay, so we're back down here where our exocraft are. Um, I do have to do something about the monitor exo baby in there. I need to move it out, but it won't let me do it here. I'm going to have to do it in Blender because I'm currently out of range of the base where I'm stood. In fact, the base stops exactly where it looks like it stops. <laughs> okay, so we've got a few more of those rooms. I'll show you out there in a second. Again, the other side is exactly the same as it was when I showed you the biodome slash uh, new agricultural rooms. So we'll just go out here. Okay, we've got stairs down and we've got stairs up. And this is what took me most of today to sort out because there's actually been a lot of new plants added since I did my rooftop gardens and I hadn't realised quite how many. Um, and I also hadn't realised that they'd added the ability to change the colours of them. Now I've noticed that changing colours of stuff you've already built at the moment isn't sticking. Like once you move away and come back it re reverts to whatever it was when you built it. So I've had to literally delete all of my trees and plants and rebuild them all from scratch making certain to change their colours as I built them. Um, yeah, so we've got our swamp stuff, we've got our... Um, infected stuff, underwater stuff, uh, desert stuff, uh, just your normal trees and rocks I think, or are they the frozen? No they're the frozen stuff. Um, you got your toxic and your radioactive stuff. Clearly I need to turn my light on. Uh, yeah, the, these weird things, whatever they are exactly. And these weird things, these ones don't change colour unfortunately. These change colour a little bit as you can see, just not loads. Um, yeah, you've got lots of entrances back out to all bits. And you can come on through here. To our other ones, so we've got all of our like rocks and barnacles and stuff. Um, our horror stuff in the middle. We've got your average trees here which again all change colour now which is lovely. Makes it look way more interesting. Uh, yeah trees and bushes sorry. Uh, over here you've got your two volcanic um, rock things and then your normal rocks and then one of the sets of grass because there's seven sets of grass so here's the other six which are taking a moment for some reason. I think these grass things actually grow I don't, I don't think you can actually harvest from them though. But it's weird, like when you place them down they don't immediately pop up like this. Like they look like they're, they like grass would look when it's just starting to grow and then it pops in with the full texture like this but it's, it's weird, it, it looks like it's almost intentional. Anyway, and then that leaves us with our fourth side which of course is our lovely chessboard.
um, yeah you can see I've marked the uh, corners with the new flaming barrels so I can get my bearings when I'm down the bottom this is all our agricultural rooms and our stairs down it's a shame I can't just get in there I wonder if you can it wouldn't make sense to be able to add a door here now would it surely not does that mess with the stairs though? I'll bet that messes with the stairs let's have a look it doesn't oh that's cool alright I'm going to do that on both sides then what I do need to do however is change the colour of it so I need to delete it select it then select colour and then build that's really cool I didn't expect that to work okay let's do it on the other side as well I wonder if I can do it at the front as well I can't remember what they're like or where they go to that's really quite handy and do you know what all that faffing about oh no we're at the front that's why I was about to say if that was at the, if it works at the back as well then all that faffing about that I did with the uh, things at the back is going to really annoy me yeah there's nowhere for it to go is that I didn't actually build enough there to do it yeah fair enough but yeah we've got our silly little uh, ramp things that I'm not entirely happy with here it really annoyed me I couldn't just get steps that actually went up onto that because that's what I originally tried to do I feel like most of that's unnecessary surely that could have just been one big wall whatevs frame rate again is whenever I'm filming my frame rate is absolutely fine when I'm not filming but for some reason as soon as I start trying to use OBS studio along with this game because for some reason since the origins update it's not allowed me to just record directly in game like it does with literally every other game I have <laughs> just won't let me in this game which is really very annoying yeah I'll um, figure out exactly what I want to do with some of these wonderful rooms that are just laying empty on both sides at the moment but yeah I'm gonna put the um, code up for this um, in a bit and I'll teach you how to uh, how to use it so that you can make the freighter base exactly the same as mine if you really want to and then you can edit from there um, but yeah in the meantime I hope you enjoyed this little tour I'm just gonna I've done manual save I've done that thingy save right if I now go out into windows and I will show you this very big document here is my freighter base basically so if I go into uh, no Man's sky save editor by goat fungus this is what you need you need to load up your save again this is going to be really slow basically because I'm copying all of my yes I would like to reload um, yeah, basically because I'm copying all of my files into Google Drive and I'm playing a game and I've got um, Vortex running for mods. Anyway, so yeah, you got go. Uh, I don't want that. Get rid of the tiny extra bit of silver. Um, yeah, you got your save editor rubbish. Which 
is all very well and good. What you need to do is go here, edit, edit raw JSON, which is your save file basically. Play a state data, just expand it. And you come all the way down to where you see all these chests. And at the top of the chest, you'll see one that says persistent player bases. Expand that, and yours will probably be on one. Mine is on zero because I literally moved it from one to zero because I wanted my freighter base to be first. Um, but yeah, depending on how many bases you built before you claimed a freighter, you'll definitely have built one. So your, your freighter base will probably be in one. Now, what you're looking for is an airlock connector because your freighter base, no matter what, will have that. And if you've named your freighter, it might be on there somewhere, but you'll definitely have somewhere in this thing it will say persistent player base type freighter base. So you will know which one it is if you just have a look through. Now, what you want to do is you want to uh, hold control and click A for all. Alright, and then get wherever I put this up, um, it will probably be on the Nex Nexus mods. Um, but yeah, you want to control all, so control A to collect all, control C to copy it, go into your save, control V, which is paste, and then click anywhere else. Now I'm going to say no, but you want to say yes to apply those changes. I'm saying no because the thing I just copied doesn't have the thing. In fact, you know what, let's, let's sort that now. Control all, control copy from there, and I'm going to put it the new version with the little edits I just made into this notepad document and then I'm going to control S to save okay so yeah now it's done so yeah you paste it into there come along click yes and then come out of there and make sure you save changes and then that's it you should then have the same freighter base as I have which I'm sure you will enjoy yeah, that's about it. Um, I hope you enjoyed that little tour. And I will see you in the next video. Please do feel free to leave any questions in the comments uh, or any suggestions for what I can use those rooms for or anything that you think my freighter base is missing. I would love to make this base even better. Please do comment as much as you can, any ideas you have. Okay, bye.